a well-directed Lakers attack that captured the first two games of the NBA Finals. Los Angeles was impressive with their passing and relentless with their running as they overwhelmed a hobbled Celtics team. It was obvious the defending champions were vulnerable and there were whispers of a sweep. But Boston had other ideas and they became apparent in game three. The unstoppable Laker fast break suddenly ran into roadblocks as the Celtics played with renewed intensity. The heroes included the probable and the great Larry Bird. And the improbable and reserve center Greg Kite, whose tireless labor in the trenches helped spark their victory. Boston's message was clear. And the Lakers took notice. This series is far from over. Worthy and the Lakers found the bounces a little hard in the Boston Garden, while the hometown bounces found the occasional help with those little green leprechauns. An entire city hopeful tonight that this arena becomes the Garden of Even. And in this neighborhood, the hot color is green, the color of t-shirts. Green as in the color of hats. And yes, also green as in the color of money. It has been green since the arrival of this man, Larry Bird, from Indiana State in 1979. He has kept the Boston Celtics in contention for an NBA championship ever since. And tonight, he will try to do it one more time in game four as CBS Sports welcomes you to its continuing coverage of the 1987 NBA Finals. The Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics. And after three rounds, the Lakers lead two rounds to one. This is the way the series has gone. The Lakers won two blowouts in L.A. and the Celtics won the game Sunday here in Boston. And it's Lakers ball in game number three. And a foul. McHale helping Parrish. And Kareem will shoot a pair. Dennis Johnson and Green the rebound. Already we've seen A.C. Green more active at both ends. Bird intercepts the pass. Still no score with over a minute gone by. Scott. Air ball. Good defense by Dennis Johnson with a four on three break. Magic. Still no score, but there's A.C. Green. Scott. And there the second chance points. But A.C. Green certainly in the play. He has got the speed, particularly when McHale and Parrish are in there to outdistance either one of them. Larry Bird. A lot of misses so far, and Scott comes out of it. The Celtics are 0 for 6 from the field, and A.C. Green comes in and is fouled. There was a Laker break. He's the fourth man up. He could get a lot of layups for the Lakers on that break. Speaking of layups, Dennis Johnson is fouled going to the basket. What a game Dennis Johnson had. He came through with his best game with 26 Sunday. Green is on Parrish. And the Chief has an edge there. That's a matchup I think the Celtics are going to key on. Take it to Green. Scott missed and A.C. Green on the follow-up. A.C. Green uses his speed effectively. Nobody really puts a body on him. They're looking for the penetration, and he uses that speed to create room for the offensive rebound and hoop. Dennis Johnson goes in and makes the layup. The Celtics lead. Worthy has his shot blocked. The Lakers are worse. They're two of 12. Another three-point shot attempt by Danny Ainge, who's six of 12 for the series. Magic answers that with a two-point attempt, and it's 9-7 Boston. He has trouble really moving people out of that sweet spot in the low post, particularly. A Offensive rebounds, the Celtics have dominated the last two games, but the Lakers have the edge early. Kareem, 
Good defense by Paris. Magic is there, and now another offensive rebound by the Lakers brings L.A. to within a couple. The X factor. His rebounding can give them a real plus, the Lakers. Worthy on the foul on Bird. Posting up against Ainge. One of the advantages the Lakers can use. Worthy shot blocked by McHale, and Ainge has it. Open is Dennis Johnson. And McHale is foul going in. The first period. Celtics lead by six. Kareem cuts that. Danny Ainge. Tommy, Danny Ainge has not had much opportunity to shoot because the Lakers have not rotated a man off of him. Ten on the shot clock. Double team on Kareem. Good pass to Michael Thompson, who misses the layup. Lakers still have the ball. There's a wild shot. We haven't seen that in the arsenal, have we? The are getting five men back faster than the Lakers are getting four up the court. Magic Johnson's ball bounces in, and he has six points, and he's the game's high scorer. Celtics lead by two. The Lakers had a chance to tie it up. Danny Ainge will help in that speed department. Bird beats Matt Michael Thompson to the rebound, and here's Danny Ainge releasing and gets an easy bucket. Danny Ainge was streaking down court. Michael Thompson. Thompson at the center spot. They may be looking for him, the Lakers. Dennis Johnson down the middle, and he's been effective, penetrating, basket counts, and a foul. Johnson saved his drives to the basket for the end of the game tonight. They're seeing him right early going to the hoop, and the defense is so totally concerned with the big players that they forgot about the penetration of Dennis. Three point play. The foul was on Michael. Really blocking out on that defensive ball. Magic on a steal as Ainge tried to get it inside. There's a two on three now for the Lakers, and Magic. And they're going to call the foul the other way against Magic Johnson. Offensive foul. With Rambis and Worthy up front. Magic gets free inside. Don't think he had control of that shot. Tight is fighting right in the middle of that group. And the basket's going to count on a foul. Tight saying, what happened? Well, the Lakers scored, and there's a personal to move. And the foul is on Kite. But the Lakers really banged hard on this play. There's a lot of Celtic white jerseys around. They all hang tough. There's four purple jerseys against three white jerseys. And then they finally come up with the basket. Michael Thompson really hustling hard. Ains goes for three. He's hit one already this period. And Magic can't save it. McHale. And it counts. size coming to the advantage but a heads up play by Seasting and Kite right there makes a good pass to McHale who thought somebody was on him and then took it to the hoop Cooper caught up but banged him from behind right now they have 19 and no basket foul before the shot and it'll be a shooting situation eight on the shot clock good on a runner, and the Celtic starting backcourt has 18 of their 29 points. Magic Johnson gets the basket despite contact. The final seconds of the period. But Boston has the lead, and that's the end of the first period. Celtics 29, Lakers 22, will return to raucous Boston Garden after this word from your local station. And McHale up front. Bird with a pass to Paris. Laker ball out of the break. Cooper. He has Scott Worthy. Michael Thompson. It's a four man break for LA. And Kareem was starting this period. Misses. Out of bounds. Lakers possession. The Lakers take bad shots. The Celtics with this go out and get them defense. Seasting throws it away. And now it's three on three for LA. Cooper with a move around Bird. Bird blocks the shot. Great play by Bird. Three on two.
two now. Boston. McHale. Unusual game for who is going to produce the points. Kareem hits the hook. He has six. Worthy posting up against McHale. And Paris blocks it away. Good double team by Paris. But the Lakers aren't getting the breaks. Actually, the Celtics seem to be running more right now. Another perimeter shot by Michael Thompson. Eight and a half to go in the second period. Magic with that shot put shot now has 11 points. Four seconds on the shot clock. Has to take a wild shot, but there's McHale with a big offensive rebound, just as he did in the closing minutes of Sunday's game. Magic with a sky hook from where Kareem normally tries it, and it's a three-point affair again. Hold his own off the boards. We may see that running game by L.A. again. Robert Parrish. Well, Bird can get hot, but right now he's secure to do things like this. Grab rebounds and help get some easy hoop. Two on one, Parrish driving in. Sprained ankle at all. He looks pretty good there. <laughs> misses and here's Scott four on one Kareem is back there and used as a pick as Cooper gets the layup good way to use Kareem here's Bird coming right in this is where he can help them the most control the defensive board for the Celtics and he's doing his job he has seven rebounds Larry Bird <laughs> pressure and it's going to come back up to you <laughs> be funny if it didn't once McHale winds his way in and draws the foul. Third team foul against the Lakey to seven. Magic doesn't get the bounce, but will go to the line. First team foul against the Celtics in the first couple of minutes. Parrish put a move on A.C. Green and left him flat-footed. A.C. Green cannot guard Robert Parrish, and he's having trouble with McHale, just not allowing them the good sweet spot in the low post. The hook by Magic Johnson, who has 17 points in the game. Five-point lead. Celtics keeping the Lakers at bay. Parrish again. Parrish has done a number on A.C. Green. And just attacking A.C. Green. Whoever he's guarding, he's going to face the ball. Magic gets his own rebound and converts. So 19 for Magic in the first half. Ainge for three. D.J. gets the offensive rebound. Basket that was for Johnson. Uh, he goes and gets them every which way. Two. Oh. Oh, there it is. Again. Another oh. uh, heads up play by Magic. Red to defense. Looking for his first basket of the game. Who would have figured that Bird and Worthy wouldn't get a hoop this far in? Dennis Johnson with 11 points. Most of them on penetration. Producing well, offensively. You're right. They do other things, though, and we've got to be fair that way. Danny Ames, that's for two. Point, definitely a Celtic pace game. Worthy gets on the board and has a chance for three. And that's his first basket after five misses. What the Celtics are doing are forcing him to step out a little bit further. Now he's in a little bit closer. It's a one dribble, strong move to the hoop. McHale, even with his leaping ability and long arms, can't get at Worthy's shot because Worthy's a great jumper. Lakers leading in the series 2-1. to one. And Danny Ainge hits another two-point shot. He has 15 first-half points. Far cry from the first two games in Los Angeles. Worthy may be getting hot now, and he has five quick ones. He's getting the feel. And McHale fights his way in against Kareem. He leads with 15, tied with Ainge, and a steal. Loose ball, and it's Kareem protecting it. 20 on the shot clock. Loose ball, and it's Johnson. Break for Boston. and it's a five on two for the Lakers and Worthy is decked and Worthy doesn't like it and Greg Kite was tagged both coaches
coaches have come on to try to cool things down. And Tommy, that was a very rough takedown of James Worthy. Yes, it was. I believe it was Greg Kite who uh, would be physical on a play. But one of the things that people feel about James Worthy is that if you hit him hard on the layups, he stops going strong to the, the basket. It's an intimidation thing. But here you're going to see Kite just come at him and really take him down. That was a hard foul. Now, Worthy was going to get it. He should have not come up and started swinging. Yeah. And Kite comes back at him. What's going to happen now is in the lap of the guards as far as Worthy and Kite are concerned. How would you compare that to the Lane Beer Bird incident in Detroit? Different situation, I think. Each play is different. Now, do they throw anybody out of this game? It's an uneven swap if they throw Worthy and Kite out. And a double technical foul has been called on both James Worthy and Greg Kite. The lead is six for the Celtics, and they can play out the first half. We got fireworks in this one. McHale with one second to go. And that one was right on target and bounced out, and the crowd likes what they see. That's the end of the first half. The score, Boston 55, L.A. 47. Brent Musburger and Julia Serving will be back with the Prudential at the half after this message. And it may be like an old-time Boston-L.A. rivalry. A lot of people think something was missing. Well, watch this. Dennis Johnson fouled James Worthy, and Johnson and Kite, it looked like, both put down Worthy, and Worthy, who had not had a productive first period, started going after Kite. A double technical foul was called on Worthy and Kite. No shots taken, and a personal foul was charged to Dennis Johnson. Look at Pat Riley getting right in the middle, and... What else is new? This is another angle of the same play, and this is Worthy going in. Dennis Johnson commits the foul, and Kite, both of them, with a hard takedown, which has been part of a lot of what we've seen in the playoffs. And that's scary if you're looking at it from the Laker point of view. Dennis Johnson hits the first shot, and now the Celtics have their biggest lead of the game, 10 points. McHale, more so than anybody else, I think, those minutes could hurt him. Worthy hits. Tommy, what do you think of the Laker reaction that they don't think that they're going to be able to run against this team now? Well, they've got other options. The fourth, fifth man up the court, that's part of the break that ought to be able to work. Plus that quick hitter attack. Get the ball to Worthy before the total Celtic defense is set up. Points just before halftime as Scott missing outside. Kareem to Scott and Scott hits. So Byron Scott, only his second basket of the ball game. Rhythm as Worthy has been in this trip. And Larry Bird gets his first basket of the game with a minute and a half gone by in the third period. It's to Kareem. And beating Green to the ball is McHale. His outlet to Bird takes a pass and is fouled by Scott in the act of shooting. Worthy gets the offensive rebound. And the baseline shot. Worthy did not score in the first period. Has 11 now. Now, too, that was an exceptional basket by Worthy. A rebound. Harris from the left of the key. And Worthy defense by McHale. Kareem swoops in to get the rebound and a three on two break for L.A. Scott. Slices in. Boston at 49. The Lakers at 39. And Bird has his shot stuffed by Worthy and a foul against Kevin McHale. And for McHale, that will be his third. Stuffed it out. Three on the shot clock. Bird will take a three. And he did it as the 24-second clock ran out. A.C. Green the boards and loses it out of bounds. Murray have fought back and are leading by 13. Midway almost through the third. Timeout LA. Listen to him. Go 
two. from the first two games. Just under seven minutes to go in the third. McHale over Kareem. Magic is low post against Ainge and scores, and you wonder why the Lakers might not go to that more. Pay against the Lakers, and the tempo is theirs. Three on the shot clock. Technical foul called against Michael Cooper, who's joined with Kevin McHale. Defense called in this game. Five of them were called against the Lakers in game three. And Magic nearly gets a chance for a three. Missed just one shot this period. Bird. Look, it. Look, it. Look at Bird fight for the rebound, and it's tipped up and in. And the basket will count. A goaltending call against the Lakers. The offensive rebounds paying off once again for Boston. Kareem got frustrated, went up, and tipped it out of the basket from underneath. And now they're taking the basket away. And claiming that McHale did it, and it really wasn't. It was Kareem. We may have a chance to see. Let's take a look. His bird puts it up. And that's Kareem. It Kareem. was Kareem. It, Kareem touched it. Kale the rebound. So the Celtics don't get the hoop. But they get the ball back here with 5.15 to go in the third. And Parrish is five straight. 16-point lead. He's got the rainbow going, and there's no rain. And Magic slams two through. And Ainge gets two back. Again, but Tommy, the Lakers have not gone inside at all offensively lately. Against McHale, one on one with seven on the shot clock. Great move by James Worthy. And he eluded two Celtics there. Lakers can put on a spurt like no other team in the league. Bird. Bird guarded by Cooper. Dennis Johnson has his shot blocked by James Worthy and Cooper. It's a three-on-two break now. Thompson leaves it for Cooper. A three-point attempt hits. And there goes Michael Cooper, who set an NBA record in the championship with six of those baskets. Out of their low post game. Cooper going all the way. Worthy. Blocked from behind by Bird and a foul by Scott. And a, a very timely good foul by Byron Scott because he saved the basket. Harris picked up by Thompson. Dennis Johnson. Harris gets a big offensive rebound. Out of the inside game, they succeeded, but when Parrish comes up with offensive rebounds, no press will stop that. And no, nothing will stop the worthy play. Except giving up much bigger leads than they have in fourth quarters. Turnover, four on one break. Michael Thompson scores. And maybe time to point out with the lead cut to not. Outside shot like right here. This is, and the long rebound gives the Lakers a chance to run. Scott goes in. separate the athletes again. Tell me you got the feeling we're well into this championship final. Well, their bodies got into it one game at a time. Boston came back here. The Lakers had their running game going. Now their minds and emotions are at full steam. They're at the boiling point. You're going to see the Celtics now come in and attack Byron Scott, and Bird just takes it again from behind. He got hit in the face, and there you see the jostling between A.C. Green. Scott steps in and says, you can't do that to my teammate. And Kevin McHale, not, you know, wanting to be a little macho right now, but not get thrown out of the game, kind of talks to him and tries to keep the distance, and cooler heads prevail, as they say. Personal foul is on Larry Bird and a double technical foul against Byron Scott and Kevin McHale for their skirmish. No shots are taken on the double technical. But here is a big play for the Celtics a few moments ago. Nobody gets to him. Like, that press defense, very difficult. 
to block somebody out. That leaves them a good position underneath to just pull it in and cram it. They don't have any real size, but Worthy right back with a sensational move with speed this time and that leaping ability right over Kevin McHale's long arms. Quick trapping alert defense. And the basket goes very close, but the basket goes by Darren Day. Here he is. And a wild one it's been. Bird looking for help. Dennis Johnson at the buzzer misses. And that is the end of the third period with the score. The Celtics 85, the Lakers 78. And we'll return to Boston Garden for the final period after this word from your local station. So Day is in there, Seasting and Kite, as you say. Worthy hits the shot over Darren Day. Worthy got a slow start, has 17, and the lead cut to five. And it's Johnson on a switch. Seasting. For Jerry Seasting, who was had trouble finding his shot in the playoffs. Well, nobody rushed at him that time. He had all the time in the world to get the shot off. Magic goes behind the green. AC Green. Block for the Celtics. They're way outside there. Michael Thompson on Seasting. Boy, McHale made a tough shot there. Short, but there's M Michael Thompson. And that's one of the reasons they got the 6-10. Michael Thompson, the rebound on the miss by Bird, and an offensive foul against Cooper and Riley. Doesn't like it. Fuck now. They find Bird loose inside, loose ball, and on the line was Bird, turns it over to the Lakers, who can come within three now. He was wide open. Magic Johnson is holding his left knee. And Gary Beatty, the trainer, tending to him. All right, take a look on your right. And Bird is trying to hold on to the ball. And Magic comes right in. And they collide knee against knee. And uh, Magic has had lots of problems with those knees with the very same type of injury or happenstance, accidental bumping. And needless to say, he's the guy that fuels that fast break, dishes the ball out to the right people. It was a leprechaun, huh? It was the leprechaun, I think. Danny Ainge is in the ball game, and Worthy spins in, and it is now a three-point game at 89-86. Right when they went with that fast lineup on both ends, Parrish misses. McHale, it counts. Tommy Kevin McHale is at 10 of his last 11 shots, and he looks like the McHale of the healthy vintage regular season. That was good attempt by Parrish, and here's McHale working against Magic T uh, Michael Thompson. Magic's back, and he's limping, but he's going to try to run it off. Celtics had a 16-point lead in the third period. And Seasting knocks it away, two-on-one break, and Magic breaks up that two-on-one advantage, and Riley... for the fake on Magic. His best game of the series by far. Oh, no. And Kareem is foul. That is the first team foul against the Celtics. Dennis Johnson is worthy in his face. Good defensive rotation by L.A. And they never let it get to Bird in the corner. Three on three. Michael Thompson yeah. is fouled going in. That is great pace basketball they trail by four Kareem fouled and if that's Parrish that's five on Robert Kite is not an offensive option Lakers have scored five in a row Bird has the shot knocked away by Cooper and the Celtics have 12 seconds to try a shot Magic picked up by Bird Michael Thompson is fouled and they'll tie it up perhaps on the free throw line That's a pick for Ainge, who unties it. Against half-court game without Boston having Parrish running their big weapons in there. Kareem hits the skyhook, and don't forget, he has been cold, not taking any chances. He wants to get his big man in there. Bird. Cooper for three. And there's Dennis Johnson ahead. Magic 
Rock is back. Boston four, LA two. Bird. Eight in a row by Boston after the score was tied at 95. And Kareem is fouled tight. <laughs> That's a play on words. Loose ball, Cooper and Ames and Magic. And guess what? We're going to jump it again. Going to the hoop and maybe get the three point of that where they looked for the alley oop, it didn't work. Michael Thompson, they could have used the hoop. Larry Bird hit the deck hard. Thompson will go to the line. Clock for Boston. Five now, and they almost tied up Harris and they lose it. Cooper, it's a three on three break. Cooper with a three and hits it with a minute and a half to go. It's 103 99, 103 100. Worthy brings L.A. to within one with under a minute to go. And timeout, Boston. Going to the wire in by far the best game of this 87 NBA final. Can spring somebody loose if he takes it to the middle. L.A. still has a foul to give. Bird takes a long baseline shot, and now the Lakers with... A chance to take the lead. Their last lead was three and a half minutes into the game at five to four, a long time ago. Kareem does it, and the Lakers jumping for joy, and they lead it 104 to 103, and another timeout called by Casey Jones. This game, of course, Dick, is not over, but Celts got a lot of things to come up with right now in this last second on this cram shot. Poor defense. You see the shot clock is 19. Five second differential. Parrish playing with five fouls. Open his age. Bird goes for three. getting away from me could not get away from worthy until worthy had to rotate out look at the hand on the jersey and finally worthy moves out and bird all alone in the corner and it's three points and the reaction by the celtic bench or worthy kareem is fouled with eight seconds to go Lakers ball with seven seconds to go. That gives him a chance now to go ahead with a basket. Riley wants to use his last timeout now. James Worthy or Magic Johnson in the low post being guarded by Dennis Johnson. And Byron Scott is in the ball game now. Five seconds to go. Magic with a hook shot. Scores with two. And the Celtics trail by one with two seconds to go and the Celtics have used their last time out and Tommy this is where the Lakers have a foul to give with two seconds to go that if they use it could limit the Celtics to one second left you're very right there but a little good play forces McHale to have to switch out onto Magic Johnson and he puts that quick dribble on McHale and gets into the defense and there's that real real junior sky hook working look at it again little stutter step confuses McHale I mean that's what a great ball handler and dribbler can do to a big man and look at that outstretched hook shot just worked beautifully magic said Boston guards a great shooting place and he says one of the best in the league 
He feels it was built for shooting, and he's proving it tonight. Michael Thompson is back in to try to distract Dennis Johnson on the inbound. Bird fires it. And the Lakers have won in Pat Riley, and the Lakers dance off the court. This year's MVP, Magic Johnson, put in the winner with two seconds left. How fitting for the Lakers, who came from 16 back to win, and right now, let's go to James Brown. JB? Magic Johnson, one of the best comebacks ever. Did you guys ever think that you were out of it? Well, of course, you know, you get down because they're up 15, but that's the mark of this team all season. We've been coming back. We didn't get down on ourselves. We just had to get tougher on defense, and then we started finally hitting some shots on offense. Did you think it was a conscious decision on their part to get more physical with you guys? Well, you know, it was a conscious effort on our part, too. I thought that uh, we came out maybe over-aggressive. We were missing easy layups, easy shots, because we were so up. So we had to calm ourselves down, get back into our game. And we finally did that, finally in the, like, the latter part of the third on into the fourth quarter. But you got to give us credit. We played great defense, and we really boxed out. You're a knee, Magic. They're very have given you problems before. How does it feel now in preparation for Thursday night? Well, it's, st it's still store, sore, but, you know, um, we came and hit me on the side of my knees, and uh, but it's all right. Can you win it Thursday? Well, we're going to go after it. We're oh. sure going to try. All right, Magic Johnson, the Lakers engineered one of the best comebacks in playoff history to take a lead of three games to one.